So I've talked about ND filters. I told you I was going to show you how they work. First, let's make sure that we understand why we use them. In most cases, even with the lowest possible ISO, okay, do this with your drone. Turn it on, put it outside, and go to the lowest possible ISO. Go to the highest, highest f-stop that you can have, so f11, f22, whatever it is, if you can change it. And then go and uh, select the proper shutter speed associated with your frame rate, 150, 160. See how much light is getting in. Chances are it's going to be way too much light. So you need to reduce the amount of light. There's nothing else that you can change in here to reduce the amount of light. So you're going to have to use an ND filter to block all that unnecessary light. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this, how we go about selecting the proper ND filter, and then how do we install it, and how do we make sure that what we did looks good. Um, I took the drone out of the pad and I put it on the table because I think it's going to be a little bit better to show you what this actually looks like. But um, here's kind of a view right here of, the, um, of what the drone is going to look at. So what I want to show you here is basically what's going on with these filters. I have a ND16, I have an ND8, and I have an ND4 filter. 4 is going to be the lighter, 16 is going to be the bigger. These are uh, Polar Pro filters and uh, they're going to basically have uh, different uh, strength and then also they're circling, they're, they're polarizing filters as well that are circular. So if you can see as I turn them right here, uh, they're also moving and turning. So that's another way that I can get a, a cool dark sky because they're, they're, uh, they're polarized. Now, if you look at the drone itself right here, uh, the drone does not have anything on it. And, um, and we're going to take a look at what it looks like on the app itself when uh, we are in the setting. So in order to properly expose uh, this thing, I'm going to go into my manual mode and we can kind of take a look at all these things. Now, what you see in here is, first off, it's super bright, okay? So I'm going to go and try to properly expose this thing. Now, I'm shooting at uh, four, uh, at 30 frames per second, so I need to be at 1 60th of a second. So I'm going to go manual mode and I'm going to go 1 60th of a second. And I like shooting around um, here, 5.6 f-stop. Okay, now obviously this is not working. 2.3, I'm at the lowest possible ISO, so I can go any lower. So there's gonna be way too much light getting into this image, which is part of the reason why we use polarizing filter, or ND filter, I'm sorry. In order to get this properly exposed, what I would actually have to do is go up, up, up on my f-stop, and then now see I'm at about f11, F11 is like, <laughs> it's as high as I can go, and I'm still overexposed by 0.7, which is not good. So I'm going to go back to my 5.6, and now you're going to say, how are you going to figure out how uh, to calculate all of these things? Well, the good news is, I'm going to put this down, and uh, there is actually an app for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Polar Pro app, okay? And the Polar Pro app is right here, and the way that the Polar Pro app works is we have to figure out what is the current lighting conditions, okay? So to do this, I'm actually gonna to go to the aperture uh, priority mode, and then in the aperture priority mode, what we're gonna see is, I'm gonna set it up at the aperture that I want to use during that flight, 5.6, okay? 5.6 aperture, and in here, if I do this, look at what the correct exposure for this frame right now is one over 100. So here in the app, I'm actually gonna to go to one over 100, Okay, and look what it's telling me on the top. It's telling me you need to install an ND8 filter, ND8 filter. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back into my shutter priority mode or actually my, um, my manual mode right here because that's where we were. And based on the app, what the app told me is I need to have an ND filter that is ND8. So let's go ahead and install an ND8. I have one, so let's go over there and see in my little box what I can find in terms of AD8, okay? In my box, here's my ND8 right here. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go ahead and install it on the camera itself. So here, I'm gonna install it, and the way that I do this is, um, in, on this drone, you kinda of have to turn that off, so I'm gonna actually gonna turn that off. Uh, you don't wanna be, um, you don't wanna be messing with the gimbal as it's turned on. So in here, there are little, um, little holes in the back. So I'm gonna put those little holes inside and there is a, uh, there's a larger one right here on the bottom right. And if you look in the back of the filter, there's a larger tab. So we're gonna put that tab in here and then I'm gonna go, this is kind of a painful thing, and then I'm gonna to twist to the right, 
Okay, I'm gonna twist. There you go. Now the the, the thing is on. Now I don't know about the uh, the filter, the the polarizer. We'll do that in a second. I'm gonna turn it back on, and we're gonna go see if that ND8 actually did the job that it was supposed to do. And now we have a connection. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's actually exposed at 0 0.07. It's it's underexposed a little bit. So what I could do in this case is I could go to five instead of going to 5.0. I could go to 4.5. Now, I'd like to keep it as much as I can to here. Now, um, you notice that this did a good job. It did a really good job at uh, doing what the, um, what the app had said. Now, I could go with an F4, uh, an ND4 in this case, and have it properly exposed. What I recommend that you do is actually, when, if you're doing a, a shoot and it's something um, important, then go up, take the drone, take a look at the shot without a filter, and then do the app like I did. Go to the aperture priority, set it to the aperture that you want or somewhere close to the aperture that you want, and then put it in the app and see what you get, okay? 